Target 5. I can calculate missing measurements in similar figures and apply in practical situations. We learned in our last target that if two figures are similar, then their sides are proportional. We will use that same idea here when we have two similar figures and we're missing a measurement and we want to find that missing measurement. We can set up our proportion. We will take our first figure and it will be our first ratio of our proportion. We'll put 10 over x. Now to set up my second half of my proportion or my second ratio, it's going to come from my second figure. However, I need to make sure that I have whatever side corresponds with the 10 is going to be in the same spot that it is in my ratios. Since the 10 is on top and the 5 corresponds with the 10, the 5 has to go on top on this side and that would mean the x goes up and down, the x corresponds with this side. Now we don't have a measurement, but since this is a rectangle, we know that this side equals that side, so that's also 9 yards, so we'd put 9 on the bottom. So 10 is to x as 5 is to 9. Now I can use my ideas of cross products are equal to find my missing measurement. I know that 10 times 9 divided by 5 will give me my missing measurement. 10 times 9 is 90 divided by 5 is going to be 18. So x will be 18 yards. I knew it was yards because there's yards up here. Now when I apply this to a practical situation, this is the one that you'll see most often, trying to find the height of a flagpole. I have the problem Roberta is 5 feet tall and casts a shadow of 4 feet. At the same time, a nearby flagpole casts a shadow of 10 feet. How tall is the flagpole? Well, if we look at this as a picture, Roberta, Roberta is 5 feet tall. So from here to here, Roberta is 5 feet tall. Her shadow is 4 feet. And if I connect that, we have a triangle. Same thing will happen with my flagpole. My flagpole casts a shadow of 10 feet. And we're trying to figure out how tall the flagpole is. What we really have are two similar triangles. So I can do the same thing as up above. I can set up a proportion. Let's put Roberta as our first ratio. She's five feet tall and her shadow is four feet. We don't know how tall the flagpole is, but the flagpole's shadow is 10 feet. So I have a ratio of five over four equals X over 10. Use the idea of cross products. 5 times 10 is 50. Divided by 4 will give me 12.5 or 12 and a half feet. So my flagpole would be 12 and a half feet long or feet tall.